What's up everyone? Today we're going to go take a look through some neighborhoods down in Thompson Station. And now I wanted to make a video on Thompson Station because so many people have asked me for videos on this area. Such a cute, really great place to live. So I thought I'd go ahead and put that out there. And then actually as far as new builds go, there actually are some opportunities to go ahead and buy down there for a new build. So I wanted to be sure and get some of those neighborhoods out there because a lot of times the questions that I'm getting are, is there any inventory available? Um, and while there's not a lot, sometimes there is. So I wanna make sure that I'm highlighting any inventory that's out there. So if these are neighborhoods that you like, neighborhoods that fit into your budget, and you wanna go ahead and look into these, I'm gonna go ahead and get these videos out there so that you have that information and you can lock one down hopefully before they are all gone. Now, if this is your first time visiting my channel, my name is Jennifer Grambling, and I'm a real estate agent here in the Nashville and Williamson County and surrounding areas. I just put out weekly videos trying to get you more familiar with Nashville and these areas. If you're thinking about moving here or relocating, this is a great channel for you. So I just try to put out those videos so that as you're doing your research, you're looking into the cities and towns that you have all the information, you can see them for your own eyes and just decide if this might be a place that you want to explore more when you do move here. So if that all appeals to you, then be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell and feel free to reach out to me with any and all questions about moving. You can find my information in the comments. You can send me a text, call or email, however you want to get a hold of me. Be sure to reach out and I'll be happy to answer any and all of your moving questions. Let's jump into Thompson Station. Okay, just a little introduction to Thompson Station. If you're not familiar with it, it's just a little city that's located south of Nashville and south of Franklin in Williamson County. So Williamson County is one of the most sought after counties to be moving to in and around the Nashville area right now. And Thompson Station is like many others, it's just a small town. So the population in Thompson Station is gonna be about 7,500 to 8,000 people but it is nestled right up next to Spring Hill, which is a much larger city. So while there's not a lot of businesses and groceries and shopping and things like that in Thompson Station, you are gonna find that in Spring Hill and it's very, very close. So parts of Thompson Station, you're gonna be right up next to Spring Hill where all those amenities and things are. So you're not gonna be far. You're still gonna be 10, 15 minutes to a grocery store, Lowe's, Home Depot, and all of those things. And then you're also only gonna be about 15 minutes or so from Franklin and about 30 minutes from downtown Nashville if you're needing to commute. So it is pretty convenient to get onto I-65 and get up to Nashville if that's where you need to go. And so in my opinion, I find that the traffic on 65 is not so bad. So I know that it's all relative and what you're used to, but some of the other highways can get pretty congested. And I'm sure as time goes on, more people move here, 65 will get more congested, but I don't find that the traffic on that highway is so terrible right now. But there are definitely a few cute little businesses and things that you should check out while you're in Thompson Station. And one of those is H. Clark Distillery. So this is a whiskey distillery that's located right in Thompson Station. But if you don't love whiskey, that's okay because they do serve craft cocktails as well. And they also offer tours and tastings so you can see if you like it for yourself. And also while you're there, you'll want to check out the Circa Grill, which is an amazing restaurant located right next door, serving up some amazing foods. So be sure to check out their menu, but don't take my word for the quality of this food. You can just look them up on Google and see that they have almost 450 four and a half star reviews. So you will love this place, I promise. And also, if you're looking for some fun outdoor activities, there is the Battlefield Trail Hilltop Preservation Park to go for a hike or to walk your dog. And you're also so close to Leapers Fork in Franklin, Tennessee and the Natchez Trace Parkway for a beautiful drive or a bike ride. Okay, so the neighborhoods that we're gonna see today, I wanted to touch on just a few of the newer and larger neighborhoods where you're probably gonna see the most availability right now. So of course, there are other neighborhoods, there are smaller neighborhoods, or you know, even some older neighborhoods where you're gonna have a little bit bigger lots. You can maybe find a home that needs some renovation somewhere in the neighborhood of five to $600,000. Just know that those houses are very competitive to get. So if you're looking at one of those, those are tough to get too. So everything is in short supply here. A lot of people wanna live here. So if you're interested in those neighborhoods, be sure to reach out and we can get you video of those as well. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and just stick to some of the larger ones that are being built out, maybe some that have availability, um, just so that you can see what's out there right now. And we'll go ahead and cover those. So let's go ahead and jump into some of those neighborhoods. Okay, so we're gonna start out our drive in Canterbury. And Canterbury is a very popular neighborhood having a lot of housing types that will work for a lot of different people. So you're gonna find a lot of different things in here. You'll find townhouses and you'll find single family homes 
And you'll also find lots of green space, walking paths, and room to get out and about in this neighborhood. So this community is just conveniently located just up from Thompson Station Elementary and Middle, and it's zoned for Independence High. So townhouses in this neighborhood are going to be around 1,700 to 2,000 square feet, and there'll be three bedrooms and about two and a half baths. And so these in Canterbury are selling right now somewhere around 450 to 500,000. And then single family homes should be around 2,000 square feet to 3,400 square feet. And these will be on lots about a quarter of an acre or maybe a little less. So homes are gonna be three to four bedrooms and really cute with a lot of curb appeal. And single family homes will be selling anywhere from around the 600s to the 800s. And this neighborhood is in high demand, strictly based off the pricing and the amenities. People love this neighborhood. So you'll find a beautiful pool with a zero entry for the little ones, as well as a separate kiddie pool, playgrounds, fire pits, and walking paths. So if you're looking for a neighborhood with tons of amenities in this price point, this is gonna be a great neighborhood for you. Okay, the next neighborhood we're gonna take you in is going to be Avenue Downs. Avenue Downs is a brand new neighborhood and it's being built out by Tennessee Valley Homes and Barlow Builders. So as you can see, there's not a whole lot going on in here right now, but what you can't see is that a lot of homes are about to be built. So many have been sold already, really only one or two foundations put in place, but I imagine this neighborhood will sell out pretty fast. So this neighborhood is just getting underway. It's in a super convenient location, close to the highway and close to the schools as well. So in this neighborhood, you're going to be zoned for Thompson Station Elementary, Thompson Station Middle, and Summit High. So as you can see, homes are just barely coming out of the ground, so there's not a whole lot to see, but you can definitely know that it's going to be an amazing neighborhood because it's being built by Tennessee Valley and Barlow Builders. And both of these builders are really quality builders and are known for putting out a beautiful product. So many of these homes back to open space or tree lines, which is great, and they are going to be larger homes, probably around 4,000 square feet and above with lot size around a quarter of an acre. So there will be a total of about 50 home sites and one phase is just released with more to come. And so there's still a lot of opportunity to build in here with Tennessee Valley. And they do have lots available to sell and they have spec homes as well that you can put under contract which should be completed in the fall. And you can trust that their selections are gonna be beautiful. And then Barlow Builders is only building market homes. And so they will release those onto the MLS probably when they get to drywall or so. So we will just kind of have to wait and see when those houses come out, how the selling goes, but they are definitely coming. So you'll want to be on the lookout for them if this is a neighborhood that you're interested in. And so prices in this neighborhood are going to start at just over a million. And then the houses that you were getting for this value is just absolutely great for being in Williamson County. So both of these builders are really great quality builders. If you're looking for somewhere that you can put under contract now and have done by fall, this is gonna be a great neighborhood to consider. Okay, and located right up the street from Avenue Downs is gonna be Littlebury. And Littlebury is a neighborhood that is being built out by Drees. And these homes are also going to be zoned for the same schools as above. So Thompson Station Elementary, Middle, and Summit High. And Drees builds an absolutely beautiful home and they build in a lot of different areas in and around Williamson County. So people are very familiar with Drees. They build a really great quality home. So the sizes of these are gonna be somewhere around 4,000 to 6,000 square feet and also start right just above 1 million and go up from there. So, and the lot sizes in here are gonna be about a third to maybe even almost a half an acre lot. So you can definitely put in your pool and have some space in your backyard and the views in here can be very pretty as well. So homes just started recently selling in here and as you can see, they're currently being built up. So I'm sure some of these will start closing soon and then they will have a future phase coming with more to be released. So if you're interested in that future phase coming, you can definitely get on that VIP list and you'll be able to find as that next phase comes out, you can be on top of grabbing some of those really great lots. So there's really only a couple of lots left in the first phase as they're trying to close it out. But you can be on top of that second phase. There are lots available now to build on and there will be more in the future. So be sure to pay attention, get on the VIP list and get out there and check out Littlebury. If you're a fan of Drees and you like this neighborhood, be sure to jump on one of these before they're all gone. Okay, next stop is Tollgate. And Tollgate is one of my favorite neighborhoods in Thompson Station. It's so, so cute. It has kind of a West Haven vibe. If you're familiar with West Haven at all, to me, it feels a little bit like that. 
a really big planned community with lots of amenities and lots of different housing types again. So they're gonna have condo flats, which you can see, townhomes and single family homes. So in Tollgate, you'll be able to take advantage of the beautiful community pool, the clubhouse and the walking paths. And here you're located right next to Independence High School. And you're also very close to some shopping and restaurants as well. So this is located just north off of 840, so a little bit closer to downtown Nashville. And here you're gonna be zoned for Winstead Elementary, Legacy Middle, and Independence High School. So be sure to check those out. Now the condos located here are super cute and they're going to be two bedrooms, two baths, and around 1,500 square feet. They have an elevator and come with a one car garage as well as a beautiful balcony off the Great Room right in the center of Tollgate Village. So these typically have been selling for around $450,000. There are also townhomes in Tollgate. Those will be about 1,800 square feet. And then there are single family homes, anywhere from about 2,000 to 4,500 square feet. And those should be selling somewhere from the 600s and all the way up to a million for the larger homes on a much larger lot. So there's quite a bit of diversity of housing in this neighborhood and it's absolutely adorable. People who live here absolutely love it and really love the sense of community that it brings and just a sense of togetherness. Okay, Bridgemore Village is yet another neighborhood that I just love. The curb appeal in this neighborhood is just off the charts. They have some of the most beautiful homes in this neighborhood with nice large lots. So let's take a look through Bridgemore. So this neighborhood has been through quite a few phases. It's a little bit older in a sense. They started building it in 2007, but they only just finished the last new builds this year and those are now sold. So you'll be looking for resale in here if this is a neighborhood that you love but they do come up, especially since this has been being built for quite a while now. The lots in here are just beautiful. It's rolling and green with lots of trees. And I absolutely think it's just so pretty. So homes in here can be anywhere from about 3000 square feet up to 6,500 square feet. So you can get some really large homes in here and the lots can be anywhere from a quarter to three quarters of an acre. So a bit of variety in the lot sizes as well. So you're going to be zoned for Thompson Station Elementary, Middle and Summit High School. And they are not far away at all. So it's just a quick commute to get to your school. And in this neighborhood, you'll have a community pool, a clubhouse, walking paths. And as you can see, the houses are just absolutely lovely. So like I said, loads of curb appeal in here and just really striking details and focus on a really pretty aesthetic. And they really paid attention to in the building process in this neighborhood. So you can expect to pay 1 million plus in here, but you can also really expect to love where you live. Okay, and let's check out Whistle Stop. So there is still a lot of availability to build in this neighborhood. And it's located right next to that amazing restaurant that we talked about before and the whiskey distillery. So I'm thinking if you buy in here, these are going to be your favorite hangouts. So you would be zoned for Heritage Elementary and Heritage Middle and Independence High School here. So be sure to check those out. And this neighborhood is just started being built in 2020 and it's still going strong with lots of sales left to take place. So it has been built out by many different builders, some including Drees, Tennessee Valley Homes and RG Custom Builders. And so lot size in here is going to be about a quarter to a third of an acre or possibly more even up to a half an acre. And home sizes are gonna be from around 3,700 square feet up to about 5,000 square feet. And you're probably looking to pay just over a million to 1.2 to start. And again, plenty of opportunity to still do so if you decide that you love it in this neighborhood. So the community will feature a community pool as well as some walking paths that are still to come. And as you can see, it's just going to be beautiful. There are just some amazing homes going into this neighborhood. It's gonna be so pretty once it's completed. But one thing I should mention about this community is that it is located very near to a railroad track, hence the name of the community. So if you wouldn't love the sound of an occasional train, then this might not be the neighborhood for you. So be sure to keep that in mind. Okay, so the last neighborhood we're going to go into is gonna be the mill at Bond Springs. And this is one of my favorite neighborhoods in Thompson Station, and you're about to see why. So this is a brand new neighborhood. Only a few have closed, many are underway, and are being built by some of the best custom builders in Nashville. So this neighborhood is being developed by Carbine and Associates. So they're building a majority of the homes They've also sold off some lots to some other builders like Woodridge Homes, who are also a really great custom builder, but you're just gonna see some really impeccable homes being built in this neighborhood. The other really great thing about this neighborhood is that all of the homes in here are gonna be on an acre or more, which it's really hard to get that kind of space in Williamson County. So a lot of people come to me and they ask me they want lots on an acre or more, those are just so hard to find. Not a lot of developments are going in in this price point for an acre or more but you can find that here. And there's still, like I said, plenty of opportunity to build. So as I said, all of the lots in here are over an acre and you're really gonna get that country Tennessee feeling here. 
So in this neighborhood, and you're just gonna get an unparalleled build. So if you're looking for some of the most quality builders on some of the most beautiful land, this is going to be the neighborhood for you. So you're gonna be zoned here for Bethesda Elementary, Thompson Station Middle, and Summit High. And you're not gonna be super close to a lot of amenities like shopping, but the beauty of it is that you get to be further out and a little further removed from everything and just enjoy your privacy and space. So these homes are gonna be on the larger side, 4,000 to 5,000 square feet. And as I mentioned, all on acre lots. So tons of space to spread out and have room to breathe. So there are currently homes listed in the MLS in this neighborhood. And then there are lots, again, that you can build on. Many more market homes will be coming. So you will have the opportunity to build and to customize within this neighborhood however you want to. And you're probably gonna be looking at a price point of around two million, give or take. But as I said before, finding an acre lot with an absolutely beautiful home right now under or around two million is not the easiest thing to do in Williamson County, but you can find it here in some unique, really, truly beautiful homes. So be sure to let me know what other questions you have about Thompson Station or any other areas you're curious about, be sure to either drop those in the comments or send me an email, send me a text. Let me know what questions you have. Again, I'm a realtor in this area, so happy to answer any and all of your moving questions. Just reach out to me however you want to reach out. Thanks so much, and I'll see you on the next video.